Hello everyone! So today I will be doing like a Q&A section with you guys responding to all the questions that I got from Instagram. Now I've got all these questions in front of me. Let's get it started! Alright, so the first question is why come back to Hong Kong and not stay in Oz or New York with your family? Um, as some of you may know that last year I participated in the Miss Hong Kong beauty pageant um, I loved my job which I loved in Australia and I loved my boyfriend I came here by myself just because Miss Hong Kong is something that I've always wanted to do since I was really young so as soon as I got the email saying that oh you're invited to the first interview I immediately booked my flight ticket and I came back to Hong Kong by myself um, so yeah and I'm currently working in Hong Kong right now so um, yeah so that's why I'm in Hong Kong and not in Australia or New York with my family Hey Blossom, hi! I graduated from the uni you went to as well. Any plan on going back? Um, do you mean going back to university or going back to Australia? I'm um, going back to Australia definitely yes. When I have the time and money to do so, I'll definitely come back. Um, but going back to university, I don't think I have the time or money like sooner or later just because I'm currently focusing on my work at the moment. Um, so I've always wanted to study master but I really don't think I would be able to do so so yeah so the answer would be no maybe later later in the future but not like soon when did you move to Australia and are you an Aussie no I'm not an Aussie I was born and raised in Hong Kong I did studied and work in Australia for 11 years so I started off in high school during year 10 and then I went to year 11 and 12 and then I graduated and then went to university, studied um, a double degree and then I graduated and then I worked for a couple of years and then last year I came back to um, participate in the Miss Hong Kong beauty pageant. So the next question is, have you thought about coming to Malaysia? Yes, I love Malaysian food and I've always heard that it's an amazing place. It's so close to Hong Kong and things there are not too expensive. But maybe when I have more time and money in the future. <laughs> next question, did you study in the United States? No. Um, I did like a short summer course in Harvard University with my sister for like a month and a little bit more just for the experience. It was really cool, I learned a lot and but apart from that I've always studied in Hong Kong and in Australia. What would you like to try? Um, I'm guessing like this question is asking me whether I would prefer to be a host or an actor or a singer. Okay, to be honest, um, from the very beginning, I've always wanted to be a singer, but I wasn't born to be a singer. Like, I'm not that good at singing. I often go out of tune. Um, I need to practice a lot to be able to participate in a singing competition. I had a singing teacher in Australia, and since I've came back to Hong Kong, I've stopped singing for a little bit. I really want to get back to it. But now that I'm with TVB and it's definitely opened up a lot of opportunities for me to try acting which I found it to be like quite interesting like I actually do enjoy doing acting um, so probably if you ask me now I would probably say acting but I would also be interested to be a host but um, I just think it's pretty difficult like it's pretty hard you have to adapt to different situations like um, everything is changing all the time you have to think very quickly but I would love to try um, so yeah <laughs> So the next question is, any Miss Hong Kong tips or what's your feelings after participating in Miss Hong Kong? Okay, to be honest, um, I can give you guys some tips but that's only based on my personal like point of view. We don't know how they rated us or how we were selected. So I can tell you guys like a little story about the whole process. Um, so it was on a Saturday, I got an email saying that um, please come to the first interview uh, for Miss Hong Kong so I immediately booked my flight ticket I was still in Australia and then on Monday I, I arrived so during the whole interview you get to stay in a place with all the other contestants you get to chit chat very very cold though so remember to bring 
like heaps of jackets like really really thick ones okay um and also you get to go to the other room to meet the judges as a group of 10 um so you lined up and then there was like a microphone way ahead of us and then there were like the judges at the front of the microphone so we got to go to the microphone one by one to introduce ourselves and to talk about whatever you wanted to talk about I was really lucky because I was like the fourth or fifth person to talk actually I'm not sure whether these advice would be helpful for you guys because you guys are doing this online this year right um, so but anyways I'm just going to finish a story <laughs> okay so the first few girls actually talked for like one to two minutes which i was very lucky it's just because like if the first few girls talk for like two minutes you don't want to be talking for like only 10 seconds right you want to be like similar to what all the other girls were doing um and vice versa if the people in front of you they were talking for like 10 seconds you don't want to be talking for like two minutes um so yeah you know what i mean um so for the first few girls to talk for like two minutes so i was like oh yeah i'm so lucky i got to introduce myself and i told them that i just landed actually so the interview was on a monday i actually landed on monday like in the morning like 3 a.m so by the time i got to the place i rented it was already like 4 30 in the morning and by the time when i slept it was like five or six already so I didn't I didn't get much sleep I told them that and I told them like that's how much I wanted to join I really really want the opportunity to join the Miss Hong Kong beauty pageant it meant so much to me um, and thirdly I got to share like a little secret with them I told them that since when I was really young I've always wanted to participate in the Miss Hong Kong beauty pageant um, and I've always watched Miss Hong Kong and one of the things that I remembered the most was that all the girls were like smiling like this for like the whole night and I was so surprised because I was like how could they do that and since when I was young I was like I have to go for Miss Hong Kong when I grow up so I was like mm, from now on I'm going to practice my muscles around my mouth area to make sure that when I grow up I can participate in Miss Hong Kong so when I whenever I had the chance like for example when I was showering I would like do like this when I was showering now that when I think that I don't know why I don't know why I shared that with them but they laughed a little bit and um, I told them that that's how much I wanted to join Miss Hong Kong like I've always wanted to join since when I was young and I've practiced since then um, to be able to smile for that long so yeah that's a little secret that I shared with them and I think apart from that I didn't really do any other thing special in the first interviews so the biggest advice that I could give is probably just to be yourself be confident be honest and just show them the real you because you never know that there are people actually out there who would like you because of who you are like or because of you being yourself um, they like the real you and um, that's like one of the biggest lessons that I've learned after participating in Miss Hong Kong sorry like i miss like the feelings part um what's my feelings after participating miss hong kong i'm definitely feeling good <laughs> that's all i can say um i've learned a lot this is like a sample answer i've learned that i could actually do a lot more beyond what i thought i could have done like to be honest i am those type of person who would sleep for like 12 hours a day and throughout the whole experience there were a lot of days a lot of nights we could only sleep for like one or two hours and I did that and I was so surprised um, I never knew that I could do that like especially when we were in Japan and Macau there were a lot of nights where we didn't have much sleep so you never know what the outcome would be and you never know until you try but we did it and we worked so hard together and I'm so happy I have no regrets I've tried my best and yeah you guys can do it too so for any of you who are going for Miss Hong Kong this year good luck all the best and I can't wait to see you guys Next question is if I want to apply for Miss Hong Kong what should I do to prepare um, honestly I didn't really prepare for anything like you need to bring your bikinis you need to do a little bit of makeup um, and you'll be told all about these before the interview so don't worry about that I didn't really do anything to prepare 
all I did was to keep telling myself that this is something that I've always wanted to do and I'm going to try my best to do it and you won't be that nervous because this is a once in a lifetime experience remember that and you are going to try your best okay the next question is what do you eat daily and do you think a good habit of eat sleep gym really helps better skin like obviously they will help better skin but I'm not doing all of them like daily I always go to bed really really late which is really bad I'm trying to change it but I'm still in the process of it if you know what I mean a good habit of eating like that's that's really important for me because like if I eat any I don't know how to say that in English but like in Chinese it's like hot air if I eat any of those hot air food like if I eat hot pot Korean barbecue any of those like chips I would get a pimple like straight like the next day or something so I try to avoid that sleep like as I mentioned I sleep really late and that's really bad for gym I don't really go to the gym because I think it's expensive <laughs> so I always go to the park I run like every week so the next question is how did you meet Obi okay for any of you who don't know Obi is one of my best friends and we met when we were both working at Abercrombie and Fitch during like a summer holiday or Christmas holiday I don't remember the next question is you have really fair skin thank you I do take care of it a lot um, I do have very problematic skin like for example I get like pimples every now and then I have very dry skin but oily on the t-zone um, I do get allergies even though I'm not entirely sure what I'm allergic to but I try to avoid seafood which I love one of the biggest advice that I can give um, obviously everyone has different skin types so you got to find like a skincare routine that is suitable for your specific skin also have like a standardized skincare routine that you use that daily stay with it and every time when you're trying to add a new product to your skincare routine make sure that you try them one by one like for example you don't want to be adding a new serum a new treatment oil and a new night cream all at the same time just because um, if I get a new pimple I don't know where it's coming from and I don't know what's causing the problem so that's a bit annoying so every time if you add one new product to your skincare routine if you get an allergic reaction you immediately know that it's from that new product so you would immediately stop using that the next question is do you have myopia hyperopia or astigmatism touch wood no I don't have any of them are you getting married with your boyfriend? I love my boyfriend and obviously we don't know what's going to happen in the future but at the moment if you ask me yes I would love to be married with my boyfriend um, but we just don't know when yet. Do you want to have a baby? <laughs> Maybe in the future but like not now what's your constellation i am a virgo and my birthday is really easy to remember it's 11 september which is a bad day but whatever my height i am 163 centimeters and i weight 43 kg next question what kind of fruits or veggies do you like i like lettuce um blueberries my favorite i like strawberries and i like bananas what kind of man can be your boyfriend hmm this is an interesting question um he needs to be mm, he needs to be honest obviously if like he's trying to prepare like a birthday surprise for me then it doesn't count um but other than that he has to be honest he needs to be loyal he needs to have a good heart um like a kind heart he needs to treat his family well um, I don't know like a man that's like my current boyfriend <laughs> the last question is when are you coming back to Brisbane I got a lot of um, when are you coming back to Brisbane questions from my friends from Brisbane um, I miss Brisbane a lot and I would love to see everyone but just due to my current work situation I can't really take a lot of holidays and obviously due to the virus I can't really go anywhere at the moment but definitely when I have the chance when I have more time and money I will come back thank you so much for watching this video till the end um, if you guys have any other questions please comment down below I'll try to answer them as soon as possible and make sure that if you guys like this video like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and I'll see you guys next time